Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at snap camera. So you too can look like a complete moron, <laughs> just like I do here. For your next Teams meeting, Skype meeting, Zoom, it works for all of them. So we'll do a quick walkthrough of snap camera, uh, what I think about it, and uh, how you can use it for your next meeting. So stick around and let's do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to snapcamera.snapchat.com and you're going to want to download the app. And that's just a simple download, completely free. Once that is done, I've already got it downloaded here. We'll go ahead and open up the app. All right, so right off the bat, you'll see a list of featured lenses here at the top that you can choose from. Uh, but there are also a lot of categories uh, with a lot of other features and lenses that you can use as well. But before we dig into all of that, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the settings that you have available. All right, so first things first, you can choose the camera that you want to use, and I'm going to set my default to the front. I'm currently using a, a laptop, so I'm just going to keep it set to front. The uh, second option is for your resolution, and again here, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that set to its default as well. Microphone, only one option for me, so we'll leave that set to that default. Run Snap Camera on System Startup. I don't like to leave that turned on. Uh, that'll make the application start uh, every time you boot Windows, and any uh, video conferencing system you're using will have that Snap Camera uh, turned on, so I don't always like to do that. The Flip Video Preview, basically that's saying that uh, if you leave that turned on, it'll you'll see yourself like you're looking into a mirror. I prefer to see myself the way my attendees will see me, so I usually leave that turned off. The uh, option below uh, has to do with enhancing your video stream, uh, even when no lens is activated. So basically what that's saying, uh, I mean, pretty straightforward, but it'll help improve your appearance, um, even if you have no lens activated. And I know in my case, I certainly need all the help I can get. Okay, and Snap Code Overlay, if you're using another streaming service, uh, you can turn this on and that will show a code that your visitors can use to unlock uh, the same lens that you're using uh, and allow your visitors to, to use that as well during your, your live streams. Uh, there is a Twitch extension, so if you're streaming via Twitch, then you'll have to download a separate extension in order to, uh, to use that feature. But for me, I don't really need it right now, so I'm just going to leave that off. Optimize for green screen. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. If you Obviously, if you have a green screen, uh, you would turn that on. That'll just help optimize um, the look for uh, those live streams. So you also have options to create your own hotkeys uh, to just make uh, some of the options a little more uh, convenient. So for instance, turning your lens on or off, you'll need to make sure that you use a combination of two keys or more. So let's say we want to use uh, you know control P for power. So we want to power on or power off our lens, then Control P would work here. Uh, if we want to trigger our lens effect, again, you can use more than two keys. So if you wanted Control Shift uh, E, for example, you could do that here, and you just save that and move on. So you can do that for taking a photo, starting and stopping uh, your video recording, and so forth. And then up here at the top left, you have options uh, for help. Uh, there's some guides available to you. Uh, you can periodically refresh and check for updates. Uh, some additional help can be found here, and there is an option if you're uh, creatively inclined to do so. Uh, you can create your own lenses, and this will take you to a place where uh, you can uh, you can research and and get into that if that's something you're <laughs> you're into. Okay, so if we go back, and here on our main lens page, you can see I've already got one skin or lens uh, selected here, and that's the potato lens. And there are also featured ones here at the top that you can choose. So if I want to change it to this little pickle guy. I can do that. Or again, you can delve into these um, different categories down at the bottom here for themed uh, lenses uh, as well, and choose any number of different uh, pre-created lenses here. Also at the top, there's a search option. So let's see if there's a banana. Well, of course there is. <laughs> so I can choose that. You can also, um, by clicking the star icon here, you can add it to your favorites list. And I've already got a few in there, but let's go ahead and take a look at those. So there's my potato lens. I can switch back to it. 
and I can select any one of these that I want to use. Um, but you can also create hotkeys for these. And I've already got hotkeys selected for most of them or created for most of them. So for our banana, let's say I want to add a new one. And remember, you can um, do a two uh, key combination, or in my case, I've been doing a three key combination. Let's do Control Shift 8. Click on Save. So if I do Control Shift 8, then it switches me back to the banana. Control Shift 5, I think the potato was. Yep, back to the potato. And let's show how this would work inside Zoom. So the same functionality will work in your video conferencing applications as well. So let's go ahead and open up Zoom real quick. And this will work generally the same in any of your video conferencing applications. So you're just going to look for the video uh, setting. And here in Zoom, when we take a look at that, you'll see Snap Camera Now as an option in addition to the built-in cameras, in my case, in the laptop that I'm using. So if I go ahead and start the video, there we go. You see me as the potato. And if I sh uh, use the hotkeys to go back to the banana, Control Shift 8, then I'm switched back to the banana. So again, inside your meetings, you can toggle uh, and switch back and forth in between those. So uh, I think that's about it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, we like to do a lot of different technology reviews and discussions on this channel. So I uh, really appreciate everybody watching. And uh, until next time, stay cool. See ya.